Alrighty, let's do this. We are playing today the Forgotten Age campaign with Solo Jenny. Um, let's see here. I've decided to play the campaign today in standard difficulty. Uh, this is already hard enough as it is with one player, so I'm not going to attempt to make it any more difficult for myself. Um, let's see here. Uh, I don't think I need to read any of this. It's not critically essential. Basically, the storyline of this campaign is that we are uh, we are sent off into the jungle to uh, to go discover hopefully some ancient ruins, and we are with a man named Alejandro. And the scenario begins when we first arrive in the jungle, and things seem to be getting weird and creepy. But let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the deck that I'm going to be playing here today. Um, as you can see, there's some pretty uh, standard things. One thing to note is that this is not a taboo-compliant deck, as there is two copies of Elusive and uh, Quick Thinking. It's also uh, slightly changed, I believe, as well with the taboo list. Uh, the basic idea of this deck, however, is to use Scroll of Prophecies and Jenny's... Uh, decent resource generation to uh, get out Moonstone and to have well connected in play and to hopefully just pass all the tests that we need to pass without without uh, much worry um, moving forward in the campaign I'm hoping to try out um, versatile with adaptable and see and see what we can what we can accomplish with doing shenanigans like that and hopefully this goes better than uh, TCU with Akachi. So without any further ado, let's uh, also uh, take a quick second to discuss the supplies I took. Um, the map, the binoculars, and the rope seem to be overall the most useful supplies out of this campaign, if I remember correctly. It's, it's honestly, it's been a while since I've played it. Um, but if I remember correctly, those are those are the ones that are very useful overall. Um, the other provision or the other uh, the other supplies that you can take. Um, let's see, provisions is I th I think that only I think that only saves you a trauma. Same with the blanket. Um, I decided to use uh, take medicine just because it was two points and it didn't really. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I'm going to take the compass rather than some medicine. Um, reason being is that you're you're bound to get poisoned at some point, so there's no there's no real point trying to fight it. It's better just to play around it than to try to stave it off the entire campaign. Um, torches is also very useful. I might want torches too. It's tough to. Tough to say. With only 10 supply points, it kind of sucks. Um, the map is super useful for this first scenario. I remember that. Um, binoculars is useful later on, I believe. I believe it saves you from spawning an enemy at the beginning of the second scenario. And the rope is useful for later in the campaign. I think there's also another instance where the rope is useful in the in Doom of Etsley, but um yeah. What did I let's see what I got for a weakness here real quick too. I drew chronophobia. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to hustle here. But uh let's make sure I have everything else all set here. We have the expedition map, we have the deck. Let's go ahead and flip this over here. We start at the expedition camp. It is a one shroud, zero clue location, campsite, jungle, as an action to resign. And it also has a second action to check your supplies. If you have the map, you get to look at the top three cards of the exploration deck. Place one on the bottom and the other two on top in any order. All right, so that's pretty useful. Let's take a look at the act and agenda deck here. Uh, so let's see, the agenda deck has an action to explore. You draw the top card of the exploration deck, and if it's a connecting location, you put it into play and move to it. Our objective is when the round ends, investigators at any non-campsite location can spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. So we need to get three clues here. We have the encounter deck all set. 
playing on standard difficulty. And just put that down here so I can see that easily. There we go. All right, so I think we're... Yeah, I can't remember exactly what they're useful for, but I do remember binoculars being put very useful. I, I think there's like one, one interlude where you're scouting ahead and then there's another one that saves you from an enemy spawning in a location. I can't quite remember. But yeah, let's just make sure there's nothing else that I need to do. No, I, I've already played through TFA. I just, I, it's just been a while. I just don't remember. There's so many little, little things to remember with the supplies in this campaign. Let's see. So we got that. We got that all set. Yeah. So it looks like we are good to go here. So let's go ahead and uh, shuffle up. Just gonna shuffle these decks here real quick too. And let's draw our opening hand. I mean, you can if you want to. Hmm. Double flashlight, intel report, decoy. Uh, we don't need this. We don't need this. Yeah, we probably just keep one flashlight and ditch everything else. Seems seems reasonable. All right, that was sweet. All right, so we have flashlight, well connected, lone wolf, elusive, and find clothes going into their first turn here. Actually, I think I'm also gonna quickly add a uh, turn counter as well. Just so we can keep track. All right. Ah, why did it do that? Let's put it over here. All right, so we're in turn one, investigation phase. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's really good. All right, so turn one, let's see here. Uh, we don't need this just yet. Let's start with our five resources. Let's spend an action to play Well Connected. Let's spend another action to play our flashlight. Oops. And then let's spend our last action to play Lone Wolf. All right, well, that was productive. All right, so no enemies, and then we'll move into upkeep. We will gain additional resource, we'll up to two, and then we'll draw a card here. Oh, <laughs> well, that was convenient to draw that when there was no other locations on the map. All right, so we drew our weakness, which is a double action investigate that we have to succeed, and then instead of discovering clues, we, uh, we discard this. And then if the game ends and it's still in play, we suffer a mental trauma. So that was a very sweet time to draw our weakness. All right. Um, so with that, we move into turn two here. We're at Mythos phase, we'll add a Doom. And let's go ahead and draw our first encounter card here. We draw Creeping Poison. Uh, revelation, each investigator who's poisoned takes a damage. Well, that does nothing, but we do surge into Voice of the Jungle. Revelation, put it into your threat area. At the end of your turn, if you did not successfully explore, take a horror as an action to test willpower three. If you succeed, you discard it. All right. Well, that's fine because we need to explore anyway. Let's start our turn by gaining a resource. And then let's get our actions back as well. Um, so we could... We could double action this just to get rid of it, and then we could explore with our last action. It doesn't seem too bad. I don't. It's not the end of the world if we take a horror from this this turn. I think, I think suffering a trauma in the long run is going to be worse for us. So let's do that. Let's just investigate um, one versus three here. Chaos Bag says, <laughs> "Of course, that's lame." All right, fine. Let's fine. Let's just explore then. All right. So we'll go ahead and explore. 
All right, is that location connected? It is. All right, so we move to the Path of Thorns. Path of Thorns is a three shroud, one clue location. Forced after you fail the skill test while investigating Path of Thorns, you take a damage and forced after you explore while at Path of Thorns, if the exploration deck was or if the exploration is not successful, take a damage. Alrighty. Well at least we explored. Alright, so that was our investigation phase. And still no enemies. And we'll go ahead and move into upkeep. Gain two resources and draw a card. Nice. Just what we wanted to see, the scroll. So we're hoping to now draw copies of Moonstone that we can discard with this. So that, that'll be good. All right, let's go ahead and ready this. Go ahead and uh, we did explore, so we don't have to trigger that. And then let's, uh, let's move into turn three, Mythos phase. Two Doom of six. And let's... Oh my god. Oh, that's brutal. It doesn't say if there's multiples. All right, so we draw another Voice of the Jungle. Oh wow, that's quite brutal. All right, fun. Let's... Um, there's one clue on our location currently. At the beginning of our turn, let's gain a resource. So now we're well connected, it's turned on. So now we actually can actually make use of that. Let's spend an action to investigate the Path of Thorns. That's going to be a one versus three here. Um, yeah, let's let's just test one versus three here. Chaos Bag says a skull, which is currently a zero. Very nice. So we we'll grab a clue. All right, we are getting somewhere now. Let's uh, let's just go ahead and move again. And then we have one more action. Ah, uh, man. These things are brutal if you don't take care of them quickly. Let's let's use our last action to test one of these, and then we'll commit well connected for an additional one. And that'll be uh, four versus three here, Chaos Bike says. Minus two, of course. All right, well, so end of our turn, we did not successfully explore, so we have to take horror that is really gross uh, all right so still no enemies and then we'll move into upkeep here gain two resources draw a card we draw an emergency cash that might actually be useful because that might put us over 10 resources to hopefully give us a plus two to get rid of these Oy vey. oh hey solar j how you doing welcome to the stream uh, you you have yet to miss too much. We spent a turn just playing playing our assets, and another turn not doing a whole lot, unfortunately. Um, all right, so that was the end of the turn. Let's take a quick look at the board. Uh, we managed to get this clue. We moved back, and then we tried to test one of the voices in the jungle. And we still have to deal with searching for Izzy too. Why Izzy would be in the middle of the jungle is beyond me, however. All right, turn four, we're at three doom. Let's go ahead and draw our encounter card. Low in supplies. Uh, let's see, lose two resources, take a damage, or choose and discard an asset. All right, well, that's a pretty obvious choice of discarding two resources. Okay. So let's see here, we're, we went through mythos phase and now we're back in investigation phase. And our turn begins, we gain a resource. Let's spend an action to play uh, Emergency Cash. It'll put us up to 10 here. Let's spend an action to uh, test voices, uh, Voice of the Jungle using Well Connected for a plus two. Chaos Bag says, oh my god, are you kidding me? Wow, that's awful. All right, let's let's use an action. Let's use our last action to just play the scroll. Then 
Wow, that's brutal. Okay. Uh, end of our turn, we have to take another two horror. Uh, still no enemies, fortunately. And then we'll move into upkeep. We'll gain two resources and draw a card. <laughs> I could imagine. Yeah, she does. She really seems to just like be everywhere all the time. I don't really understand it. But let's go ahead and uh, let's go into turn six here. Mythos phase. We're at four doom. That should be turn five. All right. Let me let me just double check. There's two here. Yeah. Yeah, it should be turn five. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right, so we draw the Boa Constrictor. It's a four fight, four health, two evade enemy hunter. Forced after Boa Constrictor attacks you during the next upkeep, your exhausted cards cannot ready. Gross. Oy vey. Well, fortunately, we have Elusive. So we could we could use that if we really had to. We can also try to try to just evade and explore this turn. Let's start our turn by gaining a resource with Lone Wolf. Oh, that's also true. Yep. We did have one surge. So let's see, it should be one, two, three, four then. And it should be turn five still though, yeah. Okay. All right, we are in the right right turn count. Uh, gross. Let's see here. Three actions. We could disengage, investigate. Um, hmm. We're going to need to put down this Leo at some point. We could just try to evade at three up, which isn't bad either. Let's, uh, let's do that. So we're going to evade, uh, we're going to give ourselves plus two. It's going to be five versus two here. Chaos Beck says zero. All right, cool. So we evade the bow constrictor. <laughs> yeah, Izzy is in quarantine for the, with the coronavirus. <laughs> oh, jeez. I didn't realize that you were here, Vase. Welcome. How you doing? Oi, Vase. All right, so we evaded the bow constrictor. Let's uh, let's spend an action to use the map. I think that's what I want to do. So we get to look at the top three, because I want to successfully explore this action. Otherwise, I'm going to take way too much horror before I can do anything. Let's go ahead and do this. OK, well, this is definitely going on the bottom. And then let's, whoops. Uh, I believe the bridge is connected, right? Yeah. Now let's put this on top, and then let's put this on top. All right, so that was our second action. And then third action, we'll go ahead and explore, and then we'll go ahead and move to that rope bridge. Which I believe would just go here. Or at least we're going to put it there for now. All right, so we're at the rope bridge. Two shroud, one clue. Forced, when you attempt to explore about the rope bridge, test agility two. If you fail, cancel all ex cancel the exploration, take two damage, lose your remaining actions, and end your turn. Place your investigator in the river canyon. If it's not in play, search the exploration deck for the river canyon and put it into play, then shuffle the exploration deck. Okay, so that was our turn. Uh, enemy phase, the boa constrictor will ready. And then let's... Uh, we did successfully explore as well. We don't have to take horror this turn. Let's move into upkeep here. Let's gain two resources and draw a card. We draw chronophobia. Wow. Okay. Apparently, we just want to draw all the weaknesses this, this game. So chronophobia gets put into our threat area, and then at the end of our turn, we have to take a direct horror unless we spend two actions to get rid of it. All right. Turn six, mythos phase. This is not going well. Five doom of six. Let's go ahead and draw our encounter card. 
Etzli Guardian, 4 fight, 2 health, 2 evade, spawns at any empty location, ancient if available, it's alert and aloof, and forced when enemy attacks during the enemy phase, if it's ready and unengaged, it attacks each investigator in each connecting location. Ugh. Um, I believe it spawns in the campsite? The Path of Thorns isn't connected, so I believe it spawns here. My goodness. My goodness, goodness, goodness. All right. Well, this is not going as well as I'd hoped. Let's go ahead and move into investigation phase here. Let's gain a resource. We're at 13 resources now. Uh, I need to pass some of these tests. This is getting ridiculous. Um, let's let's play Leo. First action. We'll go ahead and gain an action. And then let's use... I'm thinking use two actions, get rid of this. Then let's use an action to test this. Or we could just attempt to explore and then pump the agility test. As we know, we know what the top card is and we know that we can get to it, pretty sure. Actually, I don't think it's connected because I think it's the blue triangle. Yeah, it's not connected. Okay, so hmm. what are we thinking now? If we test, there'd be one up. Likely wouldn't pass. We could try to just explore and see what else we get. Otherwise, we're taking a crap ton of horror, which I don't really, really want to do. Let's Let's try to get rid of one of these. Worst comes to worst, we just take to horror, but we don't have to draw treachery from the uh, from the exploration deck. So let's uh, let's test four versus three here. Chaos Pike says, "Nice minus one." So we get rid of one of these. Okay, cool. All right. So at the end of our turn, we do have to take a horror, which our old pal Leo will take for us. And crap, I forgot about these enemies too. Oive. We're gonna take we're gonna take some damage here too. So this guy's gonna hunt. And I forgot that he will attack us as well. And then we have to take a damage from the Etsley Guardian. Jesus. Ugh. What the fuck? And then during our next upkeep, uh, exhausted cards cannot ready. All right, so that was enemy phase, and then we'll move into upkeep. Gain two resources and draw a card. All right, we draw a twin 45. That could help us evade something, so we don't have to commit while connected. Okay, this is getting dicey. So I believe the agenda will also advance this turn. All right, so we shuffle the encounter discard pile and the set aside ancients of Yig encounter set into the encounter deck. Yeah, I know. Two voices in the jungle is sh shitty to say the least. So these get shuffled into the encounter deck. Each investigator tests willpower three. Each investigator who fails performs the following in order. If you're poisoned, take a damage and a horror. And if you're not poisoned, you become poisoned. All right, gross. All right, uh, we have nothing to help us out. So we're just testing 3v3 here, Chaos Bag says. <laughs> My God, I think that's our third, third auto fail this game. All right, so we become poisoned. So let's go ahead and draw a poison weakness. Uh, whoops. Whoopsie. I gotta reset this camera, sorry. 
that should be good. I'll put that up there. You can see it. Okay. Eh, there we go. Sorry about that. Okay, so that was that. So we're poisoned, and then we advance. So we have nine, uh, nine turns left, and we have the same action to explore. All right. So let's go ahead and give this a shuffle. Let's go ahead and draw our encounter card for the turn. <laughs> Ancient evils. Yay! So we added doom to the agenda. So we're at one doom of nine now. All right. I mean, I hope so. I hope Jenny can do it. We have we have some tools that are at our disposal, at least, if we get the time to use them. Okay, so we have... We've gained a resource. We're at 10 resources, so next turn this will be useful. We need to get a rid of this somehow. Uh, we have a lot of horror on us, too. We have four actions, which is good. Um, let's spend... So we could, let's see, we could elusive here. Rather than trying to evade, we could elusive, which I don't, yeah. Let's, cause it's just two E three otherwise. Let's first action evade and I'll commit the twin 45s for three agility icons. So it's gonna be six versus two here. Chaos bag says. Minus two. All right, evade successful. We need a clue too. So we could investigate, move, explore. Hmm, that's not terrible. We could move, investigate, get rid of this. Um, let's, let's start by investigating, because it's a for free clue while we're here. So we're testing uh, zero versus three, Kevspec says, zero. So we get a clue. All right, so we have two of three clues that we need, and we have two actions left. One action evade, two action investigate, third action, let's move. And then let's last action. Hmm. What do you guys think? I could, let's see. So we have a couple options. We could, we could try to draw something this turn. Um, I don't think, whoops. I don't think this guy will attack. Uh, when enemies attack during the enemy phase, each connecting location. Oy vey. So he's going to ping us again regardless. Um, so we could try to draw some cards here. Alternatively, we could try to explore and get rid of that uh, snake path. Alternatively, we could move again. But then we'd take a horror go to six. Um, hmm. Let's just... Ay, ay, ay. Let's go ahead and use our last action to try to draw some cards. All right, so we draw Intel Report, Track Shoes, and Second Copy of Leo. Let's discard the Leo. And then we're, we are going to take a horror, but that's okay. All right, so that was our, that was our turn. It was Invade move or invade investigate move uh activate scroll of prophecies so enemy phase this guy will ready and then this guy will hit us for a damage which is all right for the time being we did not uh successfully explore so we have to take a damage there unfortunately and then we'll move into upkeep or we'll gain a couple resources and draw a card and our well connected will finally ready. All right, we draw cunning. That could be useful. 
So now we have access to use this to get, hopefully get rid of this. So otherwise we have to explore every single turn. And yeah, that's fun. So we're at two Doom of Nine, turn eight, maybe turn nine. <laughs> oh my god. And we draw another Ancient Evils. Yay! All right, four Doom of Nine. We are very quickly running out of time now. Let's get our actions back. Hmm, okay. So at the beginning of a turn, we'll get a resource. So now we have, so now we could play track shoes and we could try to do some track shoes shenanigans. Um, let's spend an action to use the map. Okay, so this will go on the bottom. We do not want to draw treacheries. And then let's see, we have Spirit's Haven and the River Canyon. The River Canyon is the only other location that's connected but we could we could move to the path of thorns and then we could we could do that yeah let's uh let's do that so we're gonna put the river canyon second from the top and then we're gonna put the the uh, serpent's haven on the top and then let's go ahead and move And then let's go ahead and spend another action to explore. True, it's not very good with the exploration mechanic, but it is overall useful. So probably be worth playing at some point. So, all right. So our first action was to move, right? No, we used, uh, we used the map. So map move, explore, which we know what the location is. It's the Serpent's Haven, two shroud, two clue, each Serpent enemy at the Serpent's Haven gets plus one fight. Forced after you investigate or explore here, if you're poisoned, you take a damage. Ugh, gross. But we need them clues, so, so we're probably gonna get at that. Uh, we have a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it in, unfortunately. Okay, so it was map, move, explore. We have explored. Let's let's use an action this turn. Let's see. We could play could play Intel report. We could try to get rid of this at a plus two. We don't hate that option. Uh, hmm. We could try to play fine clothes too. I think next turn, next turn we should play double intel report, find clothes, track shoes. So let's, let's try to get rid of this. All right, so we're gonna test three v five here. Chaos Bag says, uh, Chaos Bag says plus thirteen. So I think we pass. All right. Do 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 do. Enemy phase. Yeah, this guy doesn't move. And then, let's see. It is not connected to there. It's not connected to there, but it is connected to here. So he has to go back up to the expedition camp. And then we will go ahead and move into upkeep. Gain a couple of resources, and we'll draw a card here. All right, so we got Moonstone plus Squirrel Prophecies now. So that's cool. Finally got rid of those Voices of the Jungle. Turn nine, so much Doom though. We have four Doom now of nine, and we'll draw our encounter card. Draw an Overgrowth. Uh, attached to your location, you cannot explore attached location. It has an action. Uh, test combat four to hack through the brush or intellect four to find another route. So I'm just going to put that there for the time being. And then let's move into uh, upkeep or investigation phase. Gain a resource from Lone Wolf. And let's see, we got four actions. Let's, let's use an action here. Oops. Let's use an action here to use the scroll. Now let's discard this moonstone. 
and we'll play it. All right, so we got that. That's first action. And then we also drew a decoy and a quick thinking, which is also sweet, and a second copy of Well Connected. So we got some options. I'm thinking we might want to try to just burst through the end of the scenario as quick as humanly possible. And I think track shoes plus quick thinking to save us some extra actions will be pretty critical here. So let's. Hmm. So we can buy a couple clues and then let's let's spend four resources. Now let's grab two clues. Um, and we don't have to take any damage because we didn't investigate. We just grabbed two clues with Intel report. So second action, we paid four resources to discover two clues, and then let's go ahead and spend three of our clues in advance. Shwink. All right, so we put this set aside Ichitaka enemy into, into play in our location. Actually, probably should have waited to do that. That was dumb. I should have waited to uh, play fine clothes first, but I think honestly we can just pass this test. So I'm not too, too worried about it. All right. Yeah, I mean, we have, we have some, we have some good ways of passing this test. Okay, so let's second action or third action. Let's be a parlay of four. I mean, this gives us, this only gives us two icons. So I could, I could just take an attack here. Um, let's see, I could like try to evade at a, 4v4, let's see, other options. I should have played this first, that was stupid. Um, yeah, that was dumb. Should have done that first. Uh, yeah. Oh well, well, I mean, I already did it. So let's, let's just go ahead and, uh, she has alert and retaliate, that's gross. I think I can still pass this. Let's just do it anyway. So like I could take, like, alternatively, I could take an attack of opportunity, go up to four damage, play the fine close, and then test at a plus two. Uh, I don't hate that. I mean, knowing my luck, I'd draw an auto fail. Put me at four. I think I could survive that. It's the only thing. The only other thing we have to do is just investigate the ruins. So, so let's just do that. Uh, well, unfortunately, I'll take an attack of opportunity for not remembering the scenario very well, but that's okay. And then we'll go ahead and parlay. So that's going to be two versus three, and then we'll go ahead and pump plus one. It'll be four, five, six. Seven? Seven versus two, Chaos Spike says. Woo, plus nine. Nice. All right, cool. So we did. So we place a clue on her, and that is that. So, yeah, nice. There we go, whoops. All right, so... We advance, and then remember that Ichitaka is leading the way. It's leading the way. And then we have to add a cultist to the chaos bag. Oops. Hold on one second. I hate having to do this. This is kind of annoying, but it's all right. I'll go ahead and copy that. Okay, so this gets added to the bag. All 
There we go. And then shuffle the three set-aside ruins into the exploration deck and advance to 3A. Search for the ruins. Okay. Those get shuffled in, and then we advance to 3A. So each Etsli Guardian cannot attack or be attacked, and then you ignore the effects of arrows from the trees. Only investigators at the ruins of Etli, Etsli may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. All right. Nice. <laughs> yeah. She's bribing her with that money. This is a well-funded research trip, I might add. So nice. So we can't explore, but that's that's probably fine, honestly. So so we passed by a whole bunch too. So we also get a free action too. So that's cool. Uh, let's see here. Um, this guy's gonna move, but that's probably okay. Uh, we can't explore this location. It's gonna move here. Let's see where we're connected to. We're connected to here, the River Canyon, which we know is somewhere in the deck, and then two other locations that we don't know of. So we could try to pass this test, but I don't think we have the means to just yet. Um, let's, let's just spend two resources to play another well connected with our last action. So let's move to enemy phase. The bow constrictor will move. This guy will no longer attack us, which is nice. We also need to search for Izzy, too. I don't really want to have to suffer a mental trauma if I don't have to. But let's get our actions back. Let's gain two resources up to nine, and let's draw a card. Draw Intel Report. That's very handy. We have two copies of Well Connected in play. That's also very handy, so when we begin our turn, we're going to have a bunch of means of... Oh, that's right, it's limit one per investigator. Good call. Good call. Uh, in that case, let's just go ahead and play the track shoes then. Yeah, that'd be really dumb if you could do that, actually. That's okay, it's an intellect icon that we're probably going to need at some point, so. Um, yeah. All right, good, good catch. Uh, good catch there, you see. So let's move if... Turn 10. We are really running out of time, though, so we need to get lucky with the exploration. Five Doom of Nine. And we draw a Pit Viper. Three health, one health, or one health, three combat, and three evade. Force, when it deals damage to you, if you're not poisoned, put the set aside poisoned uh, weakness into play in your threat area. Gross. No, we are unfortunately poisoned. Okay, so this is not too much of a problem for us unfortunately or fortunately for us let's get a clue or gain a resource at the beginning of our turn we're up to nine here we have five uh five agility so not the worst we could play decoy or commit decoy rather and then it, um can't can't explore here kind of thinking we elusive to the rope bridge and then we could we could go from there. I don't hate that. Let's do that. I'm gonna spend two resources to play elusive. And we uh we out. We're gonna go all the way to the rope bridge. So you can uh you can kindly go elsewhere, Mr. Pit Viper. Yeah, it also has four fight there too. Alright, so we're here. Uh, we can easily pass the two agility test. So let's, let's see here. Um, yeah, let's just explore, I guess. Actually, let's, no, let's move here. I think we have the time. I think we have the time to search for Izzy. So let's do that. Um, that's going to be an investigate of one versus three currently. And I'll commit this well connected for four. Yeah, I think I want to save this in case we need to test willpower or something. So let's do that. Uh, test willpower. So 
So we're testing four versus one here. Chaos makes sense. Zero. Sweet. So we don't find Izzy, but we at least don't go crazy. We have two actions left. Let's go ahead and use an action to use the map. Right, do we want to use the map or do we want to move? Because we found the two locations that are connected. So I think with that action, let's just move. And then we have one more action to explore. So let's explore with our last action, yeah. And then when we attempt to explore, we have to test agility two. So we're currently at a five. So let's test two versus five, Chaos Bag says. Uh, two versus six, Chaos Bag says. Elder thing, minus two. If you are poisoned, it automatically fails. Ugh, come on, that's lame. Okay, fine. So we end up in the river canyon and we take some damage, unfortunately. So we take two damage. Oy vey. Take two damage and we end up in the river canyon. That is brutal. Let's go ahead and shuffle that. All right. River Canyon is four shroud, one clue, has an action to heal a damage, and you can check your supplies if you the canteen, you heal two damage instead. It is connected to the expedition camp, the rope bridge, the path of thorns, the serpent's haven, and one other location that we currently don't know, so this sucks. Crap. Okay, fun. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. So enemy phase, this guy's gonna move. That guy doesn't move. This guy attacks us. We're gonna lose our fine clothes. Oh, yay, yay. All right, so when he attacks us, we can't ready our, our cards during our next upkeep, which is fine, I guess. And then we will move into upkeep, gain a couple resources, and draw a card. We draw unexpected courage, which is nice. And move into mythos phase of turn 11 here. Yeah, that's gross. Six doom of nine. Counter card for the turn, low on supplies. Take a damage, discard an asset, or lose two resources. Um, I think this turn we can afford to lose two resources. So let's just do that. So not the worst. We'll go ahead and gain a resource at the beginning of our turn. Puts us up to eight. So we gotta evade this guy again, and then probably explore. Yeah, let's do that. So two versus five, first action here. Chaos Big says zero. We evade the boa constrictor. Let's hmm. So we could move to the path of thorns, and then we could try to explore there. So let's do that. Let's move here. That's our second action this turn. Let's explore. Arrows in the trees, we ignore that, right? Do we just have to spend a second action? Yeah, we just ignore the effects, okay. So unfortunately, we have to spend another action and to do that, I believe. Yeah. Two auto fails is definitely worse. Uh, okay, so unfortunately that causes our exploration to fail. Uh, there's only there's only one location that we can possibly get to. So let's see if we get it. Snake bite, awesome. Test agility three if you fail. Thankfully we have pretty high agility. So three versus five, Chaos Big says. Auto fail. Oh, damn it. We have to choose one, take a direct damage if you're not poisoned. You put poisoned. 
I think we need Leo to like win us the game here, so I'm gonna take a damage. All right, well that was not fruitful. Okay, enemy phase here. Let's ready this guy. This guy doesn't move. We ignore this guy, thankfully. And let's uh, whoops. Let's go ahead and move into upkeep. Ten resources. We get our well connected this turn, and let's draw a card. We draw, and I'm out of here. Okay, uh, that could actually come in handy. We might have to resign. If we, we we might be running out of time here. Let's uh, this is turn twelve. Seven doom. Yeah, we have two turns, so we need to get lucky. I think with the with the locations we have. We have this, so we can discover the clues once we get there. It's just a matter of getting there. I think. Let's see, what we get here. Oh, nice. That's awesome. That's a good draw for us. Uh, so we draw an Etsley Guardian that we get to put in an empty location. And thankfully, he's not going to do a whole lot. So that was a really good draw for us, Mythos Phase. Let's move into Investigation Phase. I'll gain a resource. There is. Yep, there is. On the uh, Expedition Expedition Campsite, there is a Resign ability. But we we have a couple turns, so I think we we might be able to do this. Let's spend an action to explore. All right, that is not connected. The Temple of the Fang. There we go. That is connected. Very cool. All right. Yep. Just double checking. And then we need to be at that location, right? No, we need to be at the ruins of Etsley. Dang it. Thankfully, this this is connected to the Serpent's Haven and one other location. Uh, Temple of Fang gets plus one shred for each vengeance point in the victory display, which there is none. Uh, we can get a couple victory points, I think. So let's do that. We're going to use an action to investigate. That's going to be uh, zero versus two here. Chaos Bag says. Nice. We pass. We tie. Zero v zero. We get this clue. And then let's spend an action to explore. Overgrowth. God dang it. That sucks. Uh, that is not what we wanted to see. Uh, yeah, we gotta get rid of this. So let's, let's test uh, intellect. Currently at a three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, all right, chaos big says minus zero. Nice. All right, so we get rid of this. That was our investigation phase's turn. Let's move into enemy phase. And this boa constrictor will move. Yeah, he'll move into the path of thorns. We ignore the Etsley guardians and we continue about our business. Let's move into upkeep here. 13 resources and we'll draw a copy of cunning. Nice. All right. So we ready our well-connected, and then we're on turn 13 here, Mythos Phase. Eight Doom of Nine. All right, no Ancient Evils, let's go. Pit Viper, that's annoying. You're not poisoned. Yeah, that's unfortunately very annoying. I'm gonna have to spend an action to get evade that guy. But let's move into uh, Investigation Phase. Let's so gain a resource from Lone Wolf. So we could decoy, explore. We don't have to test out of the bag. Could try to test. Uh, I like just decoying. So I'm going to do that. So we'll spend an action to decoy. I don't want to have to grab out of the bag. 
because I want to save this for a willpower test if necessary. Let's use an action to explore. Oops. Low on supplies, brutal. Um, we can discard an asset. We can discard this useless flashlight. That's fine with us. Let's explore again. I'm gonna be pissed if we. Cause I think I think this has to be this has to be it. I think, cause we need an action, to uh. Yeah, we need an action to, to get the clues and then resign, right? Just have to spend the requisite number of clues. Yeah, so we have to we have to get it with this explore, unfortunately. So let's see what we get here. God damn it! <laughs> All right. Well, that's lame. The revelation test willpower three. If you fail, take a horror for each point you fail by ask. Add it to your threat area. You cannot move or explore. Uh. So yeah, I'd have to do this for a plus two. So that'd be a six versus three. Yes, Blake says, and it's two, so we pass. Yeah, it sucks, man. We're like one action behind. Well, so if I find it now, I, d I just don't have enough actions. Like those two ancient evils screwed me. I mean, we were a little slow in the beginning, too, but we were like actually managing to catch up in the end. Yeah, I mean, I'll explore. Let's, uh, we might as well, right? The Overgrown Wilds is not connected. Oh, and the ruins. Yeah, okay, so we wouldn't have gotten there anyway. Well, that was, that was actually really stupid of me. I totally didn't even remember what this was connected to. But yeah, that was dumb. Hmm. Yeah. So I guess the following turn, it would have been move here, do that. Yeah, that sucks. Maybe we're like one turn off. Eh. Yeah. Probably better just to resign. You're probably right. Yeah. It's like exploring there wouldn't have been useful anyway, so I guess we're out of here. Well, let's see uh let's see what resigning does here. Alright. Uh, each investigator resigned or was defeated. Wednesday, July 1st, 1925. Still have no idea. We made it back to the camp alive. Yada, yada, yada. Flavor text. Okay. Uh, in our campaign log, the investigators were forced to wait for additional supplies. All right. Uh... Ichitaka observed your progress with keen interest. Uh, it was Act 3. Uh, let's see. The investigators earned Ichitaka's trust. They earned oops, Ichitaka's trust. I don't know how to spell her name. Ichitaka's trust. Uh, let's see. Record in your campaign log that Alejandro chose to remain at camp. Good, he's a jerk anyway. And yeah, so let's see. What did we get? Oops. What did we get for for victory points? I think we got three. So we got the Temple of Fang. And then we got uh, Ichitaka. So yeah, so that's three there. Well, that uh, that could have been worse, I guess. Yeah, could have been worse, but um, yeah, not too bad. 
Sorry about the plane. Stupid. Ooh, hippie crab. Thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, so that could have gone better. The two ancient evils, like, halfway through the game really kind of screwed us out of our tempo. If we had if we had not drawn that, we could have easily had, had succeeded. Uh, we had all the tools necessary. We had plenty of resources and well-connected in play. But uh, in the end, I uh, just kind of did a routing mistake, too. I should have... Probably should have just gone into the Thorn, uh, not Path of Thorns, the other location, the Serpent's Haven, and gone that way, and try to explore that way, like evade that guy, and then go down that way, but, but I forgot where all the, the connections are located to, because it's been like, uh, six months since I've played TFA, but, uh, let's see, it's 2.30 right now, um, Debating on whether or not I want to play another one. Are you guys, uh, you guys want to watch another game? You guys want to watch me run through Doom of Vetsley? We earned three experience, so I would have to, uh, that is enough for adaptable and versatile. But unfortunately, it's not enough to add easy mark into the deck, too. Do it. Do it. All right, I'm seeing a do it. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Code App Games, welcome to the chat. Nice to see ya. Hippie Crab, welcome. Um, so we just finished we just finished uh my goodness, Untamed Wilds, and we're debating on whether or not we want to continue into Doom of Vetsley. It's around two thirty Eastern Standard Time. I so I have I think I have enough time to to run through it. Dog emoji? I think dog emoji means yes, right? Gonna assume yes. <laughs> Alright, well, why don't we, um, why don't you guys give me, like, five minutes and I'll, I'll get it all set up and whatnot, and I will be back shortly. Alright, so until then. <laughs> 